Um, my name is Hannah Song. I am the Director of International Cooperations and the Researcher at the Database Centre for North Korean Human Rights. So as um, a member of the International Cooperations Department, my job is to take NKDB's work and convey it to the international community. That can include people living in South Korea, so journalists, diplomats, students, academics, um, any English-speaking audience, um, as well as taking that information to international organizations overseas, the UN, um, and any other people that may be interested in our work. Um, in regards to journalists, it's to try and convey the stories of North Koreans to the larger audience who wouldn't have any contact with North Korea otherwise. So while they're scrolling through their phone, reading different articles, um, trying to kind of remind them of what is happening in North Korea because it is an issue that has gone on for decades. I think people tend to put it at the back of their mind and people need reminding and journalists are great at conveying those stories in different lights. So we have a good um, network of journalists that we work with to keep them updated on not necessarily just NKDB's work but what is going on within the larger community and within North Korea itself. Um, in terms of diplomats, they're a very special target group because they are able to address North Korean hu human rights issues in the way that we as NGO workers are not able to because they often have contact with the North Korean government themselves and um, the North Korean government, the North Korean regime take their, international, their image within the international community very, very um, seriously and they're very, um, they take a lot of care in how they are seen by the international community. So any issue that is brought up by the, diplo the diplomatic community is immediately re reported to the Kim Jong-un leadership and different um, action plans are put put in place. So if we can see any kind of gateway way to put in the human rights issue in any engagement that they're having with North Korea, we think, we think that's really important. So we, um, the way that we keep the diplomatic community in South Korea engaged is by holding monthly briefings and discussions. So once a month we'll invite um, people who have been dispatched to South Korea working on both South Korea and North Korean issues to update them on what is going on in North Korea, whether that be briefings on our own research or research that has been produced by other organizations, other research institutions, um, so that they can look for different ways in which they can continue to incorporate human rights when talking either to the North Korean government, the South Korean government, or to their wider international community. In terms of diplomats, we are aware of how um, how busy they are and how much of a time constraint that they have and that North Korean human rights may not always be on the forefront of their agenda. And as I mentioned earlier, many diplomats working in South Korea are covering both North and South Korea. And so they are not able to always take the time to read our you know, 200 page report. And so what we do is we have um, concise kind of briefings that, um, brief papers that will summarize versions that we'll distribute to the community. And because most of our reports are actually published in Korean originally, and we don't have the manpower and budget to translate all of our reports into English, um, we do take the time and effort to, to produce summarized versions for the diplomatic community, especially though, because um, they may also not have the, the manpower to translate or get an intern or whoever at their embassy to read through our Korean reports. But we do find it important to um, make sure that they have the information that we produce. I also take into consideration what that particular country in which the dip diplomat is re representing, what interests they may have on the North Korean human rights issues. Um, when, for example, if we take the Universal Periodic Review, 
we did a lot of advocacy work with diplom diplomats so that they could give tailored recommendations to North Korea regarding the North Korean human rights situation. And we uh, looked at what, for example, that country's foreign policy on human rights was for that year. So in 2019, for example, France was really uh, focusing on women and um, sexual reproductive rights for women. So when we went and spoke to the French embassy, when we spoke to French diplomats at the UN as well, we gave them recommendations, particularly related to women, so that they also wouldn't have to take the time and like look through all of the other recommendations, and so they would also have be able to put it on their agenda.